And the, the process of sinking air is compressing, and that's a warming factor. So your air is going to get warmer as it moves closer to the coast. It's also drying out as well, and it kind of gets squeezed through some of the canyons as it goes downhill into the lowlands across the L.A. basin. So you have these strong gusty winds coming through. They're dry as well, and it doesn't take much of a spark to potentially start huge fires. So if you're a firefighter, you don't want to hear Santa Ana's because it does three things that you don't want. Yeah. Makes it warmer, makes it drier, and winds can be faster. Yeah. And again, especially in a drought, a long-term drought, four years long, that is not something that uh, is welcome at all across that part of the country. For some perspective now in the West, let's go to our friend, KNBC meteorologist Crystal Egger. And good morning to you, Crystal. Good morning, you guys. First of all, I need that augmented reality, Santa <laughs> Ana. It, that was so cool. I mean, you guys nailed it. That's exactly what uh, Santa Ana's do. We're celebrating National Weather Person Day with those notorious winds coming back to Southern California. So you know we're going to be heating up. We're taking a big fat break from any rain or snow here in our state. We have wind advisories out for Southern California. That's where you get the Santa Ana's right here coming over the L.A. County, Riverside, and San Bernardino Mountains. So this is where the warmest air will be over the weekend. We also, to add to that, you guys, we have high surf. Surf is up. You know, a lot of people are going to be going to the beaches. And a lot of people visiting, of course, around the Bay Area for Super Bowl. And they may not be familiar with the power of the Pacific when we get these wave heights. So waves will be about 15 feet in some areas. I mean, it's not necessarily a day where people are going to be laying on the beaches in San Francisco. It's more, you know, rocky. If you've ever been there, out on the rocks and jetties, that's where you have to be careful. Never turn your back to the ocean. Those waves can come up and take you by surprise. Also, uh, Paul and I both lived in Central California, and we can tell you, mm -hmm. jumping in the water in, in Central and Northern <laughs> California, it's not like going to Myrtle Beach. No, especially this time of year, you guys. And that's why the guys will be in full suits, surfing with the booties and everything and the chilly water out there. But surfers will be out. I've seen them uh, out here this morning in Southern California already. Look at this amplitude, uh, amplified ridge. I mean, this is about as strong as it gets this time of year, a blocking ridge. We're not gonna get any cool air in here. We're going to keep warming up. We know it's warm for the Super Bowl. And then our temperatures in Southern California will be in record territory, especially early next week when we climb into the 80s. Sunday, we're at 84. And what it's very typical also, uh, Paul and Chris, is once the winds settle, then our temperatures start to peak. So we're going to see this heat last through early next week. All right, thanks. That's our friend Crystal Egger joining us from mm -hmm. KNBC TV there in Los Angeles. She mentioned that the Super Bowl yeah. could be in the mid 70s. And again, if they could pick a day right. in February <laughs> in an El Nino year to have a Super Bowl, Sunday is it. And for the fans, I mean, come on, this is perfect. Yeah. And for most of the week to be so great, I've been watching any of the coverage, but every shot just seems picture perfect. Yeah, there's the forecast there. Temperatures in the low 70s, mid 70s at the start of the game, and then falling off to the very comfortable 60s. So weather should not be an issue. Even the wind pretty light as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. All right, coming up, some new video of a tornado.